everybody. Moving day. Whoops. I know. I still have lots of meat to shear. Okay. I have to pick up the bucket. Oh! Oh, they've filled out beautifully. Condition is coming back on them in a great way. Come on, girls. Come on, Becky. Oh, no, you're not getting the bucket yet. We've got to move to the field where you've got to go. Look at that, eating docks. And they say people, sheep don't eat docks. You just ate docks. Come on, girls. Herb Roberts, eating some Herb Roberts. Yes. Come on, girls. I got stopped. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> you suddenly realize there's a gate open. At an old lady girl, go. Go, lady, go. No. Go on. Go on. Okay. Close the little gate. It's going to be so wonderful when the trees all mature. You want what's in the bucket. Hey, girls. Okay, now, can you let me in here? Come on. Whoop. Woo. Okay, this area has been grazed by the horses, and the horses are in. You traveled too fast. Hey, sweetie. The horses are in as the sheep are passing through. Come on, girls. Yeah, there's nothing here for you. The horses have grazed it out. Isn't that right, guys? They know they're going up the laneway to the orchard and they're going, yippee. Hey, beautiful. How are you? Oh, the condition. It's so lovely to see the condition come returning on the yes. I've got to put the magic bucket out of reach. Up there. Now. gate's not open. They're like, what? 
Hey, you. Yeah, I still have the magic bucket. Haven't had to need it once. Because you all know where you're going. No. I've got to hold it up high or they get it. Come on. Look, I missed a little piece of wool on her belly. Hey, you, Judy. Now, now you have to let me get to the gate. I have to get, come on, can you move, move, move. Yay, they're all saying. Look at that. Very happy. Still wondering what I'm doing with the magic bucket. Look at this grass is so deep and high. Wee, look at that. White clover and plantain. Oopsie daisy. You nearly got the bucket. Yeah, no, you're not grazing in here yet. We're going into the garden paddock. You have to graze that down. Isn't that right, girls? Isn't that right? How are you, ear feather? You keeping me company because I got the magic bucket. See, this is all recovered beautifully from the lambs. And see, they're setting on the clover over here. But I want the clover to recover a little bit more in the orchard. So, I'm going to open this gate. Come on, girls. This is the garden paddock gate. Atta girls. Okay, now, your reward. Woo! I've got to get out of the way or I'll be stompled on. You're missing some right here. Look, right there. There we go. Okay. Now, what is this gate? Close the gate. And my under gate thing is falling apart. Bailing twine doesn't last all that time. Okay, so this paddock has recovered as well. But I want the ponies to come in here, Marco Polo and Miss Daisy for the summer. But the sheep need to take care of a lot of this clover and a lot of the richer grass. So you guys eat a lot of that stuff and then I can put the ponies in here. Oh, poor Becky. No, look, there's nothing in there. It's empty. I've given it all to you. It's empty. It's empty. See? Empty. 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 Everybody has to check. Uh, Ear feather has to check twice. But they're having a lovely time up there munching what's left. So they have this paddock for a couple of days. There's plenty of clover, plenty to eat, and they can prune the plum trees. Look at that, pruning plum trees. Becky knows what she wants to do. Plum tree pruning. Okay, now I've done lots of moving of sheep today. They can also eat plum seedlings. It's 
good height of grass under the trees. It's amazing how under the trees it grows so much better. Look at the mushrooms on this. This is a tree that fell down a number of years ago. It's so beautiful. Yeah, no, there's no food there. I didn't put any food there, did I? No. <laughs> so, anyway, look at the elderflower tree is coming in bloom. When I came home over 25 years ago, well, in and around 25 years ago, you couldn't stand here in the summer. And I saved this elderflower tree from being chopped down. I thought it was so magnificent. So still she stands, matured even more. This was completely overgrown when I came back here in 20, no, in 1997. I couldn't stand right here for the brambles and nettles and thistles and seedlings. And I saved that grove of scrub plum cherry, uh, uh, scrub plum trees and those apple trees and the elder. A little bit more farm history.